Guys and gals, welcome back to another episode of Campbell's Coins. This is a results video for the Morgans that I sent off to CAC to be verified. So I'm gonna do that unboxing coming up. So for those of you who do not know, a couple weeks ago I sent off two Morgans to be verified by CAC. CAC of course is CAC of course is the Certified Acceptance Corporation and what they do is they take graded coins and verify that the grade that the coin received is actually the coin's grade. And they have a very strict policy, very strict grading. There are three options a coin can receive. It can receive no grade, no uh, verification sticker, a green sticker, which means that the grade that the coin received is in fact the correct grade, or a gold sticker. A gold sticker means that the coin's grade listed on the holder is incorrect, and it should be at least one step above where it's at. So a couple weeks ago, I sent off two Morgans to be graded, and I had to send them off to an individual who has a membership with CAC. Now, not everyone can just sign up to be a member with CAC. I think you have to be a, uh, a coin dealer or some sort of licensing in order to get it, because when I look on their website, they specifically talk about how you have to be pretty much a coin dealer in order to submit coins. So I sent them off. Uh, the guy charged me, you know, cost plus shipping, which is totally fine. Um, I did want to mention one thing that kind of annoyed me. So he messaged me back on Instagram when the coins uh, were coming back to me. And he said, how do you want me to ship this? And I said, oh, well, I'll take, you know, a flat rate box. And then if you could wrap up a flat rate bubble mailer over that box, that would be great. And I paid, you know, the $8 to have that done. Well, this guy just sent them back in a bubble mailer for the flat rate cost. That's kind of annoying. I mean, if I wanted to have a bubble mailer, I would have paid for just the $4 bubble mailer, the first class postage. I wouldn't pay $8 to have it sent back like this. And there's no, another thing that's kind of annoying, there's no fill in here. So these things can just, you know, flop around. I think that's kind of rude. Um, I won't be using this guy again for any other submissions. And uh, there's also a really odd thing with the tracking. Uh, he sent me the tracking Friday night and he said, oh, by the way, this is going out Saturday. And I checked back on Tuesday and it still said tracking label created. I'm like, that's a little odd. So I sent him a message and I said, hey, can you check on this? Uh, don't really see anything being shipped out. And he's like, oh yeah, well, you know, it's the USPS service. They always screw up. Well, yeah, post office does screw up a lot. Well, what was just odd was it arrived later that day at the post office. I took a screenshot of it um, just because I thought it was so weird because I messaged him 11 o'clock on Tuesday. And if that package had arrived there before Tuesday, it would have gone out you know, before 11 o'clock, or at least would have been scanned in saying arrived at the post office. And at two o'clock shows arrived at post office, and then at five o'clock shows being shipped out. Just thought it was a little weird. Um, but I received it. Uh, nothing seems to be off, but let's go ahead and get to it. Enough of the complaining and whining. Let's see what we have. So he at least wrapped it up in this, which was a good idea. Um, the reason why I don't like just shipping bubble mailers is something I kind of just, just demonstrated. If someone just slices this open and then waits for something to fall out, 
this is what falls out. And they're like, oh, well, they have to go through extra steps to get to whatever is in here. I mean, sure, they could pocket it, but they want to see what they're stealing. But, um, yeah, so at least he did that, which I give kudos for. I'm putting these face down so that we can't see. So here are the two images of the coins. One I called my Thanos coin, and the other one is an 1885 Carson City Morgan. Uh, both of these I thought were really cool. Uh, the 1885 was in an original green holder, the Rattler. Coin that I termed Thanos is in a old green holder as well just not the original Rattler. So let's start off with the Thanos coin. And I call it Thanos because there's heavy purpling. Let me see if I can get this to zoom in a little. There's heavy purpling on the eagle. There we go. And let me just cover this up. There's also heavy purpling on the face, and then the rest of it has this golden hue. So, did I receive a sticker? I did! Received that green bean. So this is the CAC sticker. If they verify that the coin is that grade, they will put a sticker on. So, CAC verified that this coin is indeed an MS-64. That's really cool. This is also uh, the first holder that I have with a CAC sticker on it. And um, at the end of this, I'll kind of go over why CAC is important. All right, so for the 1885 Carson City, what did we receive for this blast white beautiful coin we received a green sticker only if it will focus there we go <laughs> great come on let's focus all right so uh this one received a cac sticker as well that's awesome. When I was talking to the the guy that had shipped these off, he um, he asked me, "Did you check out your your grading submission? What your coin got? And what you can do is you can look up whatever number is listed here on the the tag for your slapped coin. You can look that up because that's how they they catalog it at CAC. So you go to cacoins.com or excuse me, cacoin.com singular." And they have a little search bar that you can use to search for a coin and it will give you the submission that they or the grade that they gave it. And I checked it out and I'm like, oh, I was kind of disappointed because I thought that every coin received a green bean, a little green verification sticker. And I said, oh, I just got uh, I just got two green ones. And he was shocked. He goes, well, that's pretty good because sometimes they don't get graded at all or they don't get verified at all. And um, I was disappointed because I wanted, you know, obviously the gold sticker. And I, I thought that this uh, 85 Carson City had a chance for a gold sticker. Um, this is a really, really nice coin. Has um, proof-like, you know, images on the back on the reverse, but on the, the obverse, not a heck of a lot more and from my understanding when they're grading in order to receive that pl or dmpl designation both sides of the coin have to have that that finish to it so um yeah i guess i should just be very happy that my coins came back with two green stickers and i i am now you may be asking why would anyone have their coin verified when PCGS already verified 
by giving it a grade right there and right here. Well, CAC um, is so well known and so strict in their grading that they will often bring a hefty premium to any coin when it goes off to sell. When I've looked up auction prices for coins that have sold, I, I've seen that premium there. Coins that did not have the CAC sticker went for, and had the same grade, went for less than the ones that did have the CAC sticker. And I, I kind of posed in my last video, if you were to choose, would you rather have a coin that did not have a CAC sticker or one that did, assuming that they're both the same grade? And someone brought up an interesting point, and I would have to agree with them. They would not pick it based on that. They would pick it based on what the coin looked like, and I would have to agree with them. If both of them were the same grade, one had a CAC sticker and the other one did not. If one had, let's say, exceptional toning to it and the other did not, I'd probably go for that too. So that's a very good point and uh, something I was not thinking about when I, when I just spoke offhand like that. All right, well, I really appreciate everyone joining me for this CAC reveal that uh, I'm really happy with. All right, that's gonna do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. This is Campbell's Coins, and that's my two cents.